Hey folks, it's Mojo's Tracks, day 21. Mojo's in the same spot that he was last time we checked on him. Um, he's hibernating. Now, today doesn't seem like winter at all. It's about 73 degrees right here where I sit, as you can see by my short sleeve shirt. Um, had a little bit of rain last night, so that's good. Definitely not enough because we're in a serious drought. And I've got a few words to say uh, on that subject. So check them out. They're from uh, earlier this morning when I located Bones, the other turtle that I'm tracking. Uh, so here, take a look. Hey, what's going on? This is not normal December weather. I lean more towards our overconsumption of fossil fuels that are basically pumping tons and tons and tons of carbon into the atmosphere and thus creating the whole global warming theory or fact, which some people debate, which it is. I, of course, lean towards the fact that it is a fact, and that's just my belief. I think we need to stop our dependence on fossil fuels. We need to just cut it off and go with solar, hydro, geothermal. What about fuel cell technology? I mean, if we even converted all of our cars right now to just propane, yes, it's a fossil fuel, but propane, they would burn so much cleaner, the engines would last much, much longer, and we could then work on another solution uh, to the whole crisis that we face now with global warming and temperature change, uh, climate change, that is, which, of course, then creates temperature change. So, really, we need to think about this. We need to be really concerned because, well, the polar bears are going to die soon. It looks like uh, because of our actions, the polar bear, the magnificent species that the polar bear is, will cease to exist except for in zoos and wildlife parks. Now, what kind of world is that when all the animals are locked up behind bars in zoos? Now, zoos are great. I love them. Um, but the animals need to be free. They need to live as the animals are meant to live. So we need to work together. We need to make the government listen, the governments of the world listen, and take this seriously, because it's very serious. If we don't do something soon about our overconsumption of not just fossil fuels, but everything, then it's going to be too late. Look at the honeybee, for instance. The honeybee is already dying out due to a mysterious disorder called colony collapse disorder. Everyone's saying, oh, we don't know what it is, we don't know what it is. Well, I have my ideas, um, but I'm not going to say anything now. Uh, the whole point is the honeybee pollinates 35% of our food somewhere around there. Well, the honeybee dies out, then what are we going to do? I think it was, was it Ben Franklin, Einstein, one of those famous dudes said, if the honeybee ceased to exist, then the human would cease to exist in about four years. So think about it. That's scary. I know those may seem kind of harsh, but it's true. We're in a serious situation here. And on top of that, check this out. This article from the New York Times talks about the last uh, two turtles of a species. The last two. I mean, this this is the, the, the it just chokes me up. I can't I can't even talk. Only two of this turtle left in the world. Okay, so why is that? The Yangtze giant soft-shelled turtle. Okay, they have this turtle, the female. They have her housed in a special enclosure with bulletproof glass, camera surveillance, 24 hours a day, and people gawking through the windows. She's not living in her, na her native habitat. Uh, is this because people eat the turtles? Probably. Is this because people destroy its habitat? Of course. I mean, it says it right here in the article. It is a very dire situation. It said Peter Pritchard, a prominent turtle expert in the U.S., who's helped to try to save the species. I mean, it says here the Chinese sea turtles is a symbol of health and longevity. Uh, but there's only two of the species left, so what's that say? Um, 
I know for a fact that in many cultures, people eat the meat of animals that they consider special in some way. Well, you've just killed that animal, so how is that a good thing? Okay. I can see if you're farming the animal, that's one thing, but if you're just going out and harvesting it from the wild just so you can have it, a piece of it, and say, I'm going to eat this now, and it's going to have this so-called benefit for my whatever, you know, maybe it's going to make my hair grow, maybe it's going to make me live to 150, you know, whatever, it's just not sustainable, and it's not right. Okay, say what you will, but that's how I feel. So that's it for me, um, and... We'll come back and check on Mojo in a week or so, see if he's moved. Y'all have a good night.